Casual observation does not reveal man's conflicting emotions or the causes. But man has emotional limits, and these affect his attitude toward his work. With loss of love, he becomes depressed or hostile. With too much love, with overprotection, he becomes too dependent and lacks confidence. He needs some recognition, reward, status. Otherwise, he becomes frustrated, indifferent, or an exhibitionist. But with too much recognition, he can become self-centered and egotistical. He needs restraint. With too little, he may become self-indulgent, careless. With too much restraint, he may become frustrated and uncooperative. He needs challenge or he may get bored. But if the challenges are too great, he may lose confidence and give up. He needs stimulation. With too little, he loses interest. And with too much, he gets confused, saturated. And after periods of stimulation, he needs psychological rest and relaxation. The normal, well-balanced man is a composite of these emotions in varying degrees. But isolate him from all interests and stimuli, as occur in some situations today, and even the well-balanced man will create fantasies. He needs knowledge. Without it, he may develop anxiety and fear of the unknown. But with too much knowledge, he may get over-involved and lose perspective put too much importance on details. It's most important that he have an accurate picture of himself, a self-concept that's real. When this picture of himself is distorted, when he thinks of himself as more or less than he is, he is in psychological trouble. Sometimes this image of himself is so far from reality that we must say the man is mentally ill. These more extreme cases may result in either excesses of complete withdrawal or in attempts to bolster his image by overconfidence or by fits of great hostility and rage or even by self-destructive acts and suicide. Fortunately, these abnormal deficiencies are rare. Most emotional disturbances lead only to inefficiency. But when psychological limits are violated over a long period of time, they can contribute as inevitably as any other violation, physical or psychological, to catastrophe.